The NFL has officially said fuck the holiday truce uh, with the NBA. They Those announced today the that guns, Beyonce wow. will be performing live at halftime for the Texans Ravens game live on Netflix on December 25th. It's going to be some jockeying for that remote control going on. <laughs> uh, I saw this and I was like, why did they why did they smack the NBA on the back of their neck like this? This was uncalled for. The NBA was not fucking with y'all. Why did why are y'all stop stomping on their necks like this? You've got Beyonce in Houston. In in Houston. So you got the whole homecoming element there with CJ Stroud versus Lamar, bro. You got the motherfucking MVP candidate. Uh, um, the guy who's probably the 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 the, the brightest up and coming quarterback. You know what I mean? And you've got Beyonce, the hometown hero in Houston. Like, God damn. Like, how, what what the fuck is Wimbyama supposed to do? And Wimbyama and Jalen Brunson, what the fuck they going to do against that, dog? Like, come on, man. <laughs> That's, stop the fight, NFL. God damn. What's the reasoning behind that? Money. Like, was there? It's you always said, money. I, but, I mean, That's it's not reason. like, dude, they, the they don't have to what? play on Christmas to get oh, to make money. Like, the NFL could play anywhere, anytime, and they're going to get, you know what I'm saying? Like They just had seeded Christmas and, uh, like, you know, uh, they'd seeded Christmas to the NBA and they had seeded Saturdays to college and Fridays to high school football, and they have since decided that All in the quest them. for <laughs> never ending expansion and domination that they j fuck all of it. Like they want to own everything and no one can stop them. Like nothing can stand in their way. Maybe if the NBA had Beyonce, they could fight back, but it's, <laughs> but Beyonce is over here with Darth Vader. <laughs> Yeah, it's it, dog like just completely uncalled for. And then motherfucking um Goodell talking about they're thinking about expanding to eighteen games this week. Like, god damn. I will say this: I think eighteen makes more sense. I don't like the seventeen games, and it, and my brain is still not adjusted yeah. to the like. I'm oh, still a uh, oh they can, yeah I'm, I'm still a, oh they I'm still a, oh they can finish strong and go nine and seven. I'm still that guy that Me my still do not have seventeen game math in my mind, bro. Yeah. That that was at the like it's like trying to learn a new language. Like it was so <laughs> deeply ingrained in my yeah. head that when it's I like see trying to learn 10 the metric seven, system, dog. Like, like bro, every time kilometers. I see a ten and seven, my brain just shuts yeah. off. Tyler. It's, yeah, it's like how many ten kilometers and seven is a hour? kilometer, dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's that is a fucking kilometer. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, so I I don't know. I mean, I think going to eighteen. Like I think there's ways that the buys make more sense, and then it will. If everyone gets two buys, it allows them to do these international games they want. But that's that's the next step. They were talking about playing in South America, Europe, Africa, Asia. Like they want to colonize the rest of the world with the worst fucking football games too. Like, you know, Brazil is not going to get to see Raven Steelers. <laughs> They're going to see. Fucking Jags Panthers, like yeah. and they they're gonna see all the fuck out too. They're yeah. gonna see all the teams that we just described as not getting more fans than Chargers fans at their own stadium. Well, the Jaguars are like—I mean, I think the Jaguars probably have as many fans in London as they do in their home city. Hundred percent. Like, so I mean, I, I, there's something to that shit, but yeah, it's it's crazy. And I, I mean, I do think the NBA understands obviously the globalization game, but this this Beyonce shit, bro, it's we really are getting shoved in the corner. And when we were growing up, everyone loved basketball and everyone loved football. But it it feels very much like football is just like, I know it was always bigger than everything, but it feels like their attempt to kill other sports off has hit like a new level that is sad to me because I liked just thinking about basketball on Christmas. I don't need, I don't need to be checking the ESPN scores app on fucking Christmas. Like, let me put the one one channel on and just watch the basketball games. You know. Like I, I feel like I have one argument per holiday season at the family dinner in me with my uncle, and now you try to make that shit happen twice in in a span of a month. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same, bro. You know, <laughs> I don't know, man. But yeah, the, the NFL, bro, they took the gloves off. It's war now, and the NBA ain't gonna be able to do shit about it. Yeah, there's there's no draw they can make, bro. Nope, I got nothing. I'm trying to think. Is it like again, like you have Beyonce, but like that's I and mean, it makes more sense at a football game too. And she's got the country album and everything. And damn, 
the All best right. thing you, the best thing they can do, right? It, it would be putting LeBron and Steph every year as, as long as they're still in, both in the league. That's like your. But like that's plan, your right? plan. Right. No, not a good plan. You got, you got, you got a forty-year-old like dude. Year year of, you like, got one more year. <laughs> yeah. You got like one more. You got. You got. You can flex some shit. Last I mean, isn't that emergency this season? Then maybe next year. Isn't that Adam Silver's sort of plan? In any ways, like LeBron save us? Like I don't know. I mean, Bron said he would have had a year or two left, and it sounded real. It wasn't the "I yeah. might retire" shit that we've heard before. It was like, okay, it's starting to make a little sense over here. You know what I mean? It was, I've yeah. given you your notice to bring your children to see me play. Like, For sure, because it's coming. <laughs> Cash you know out I mean? the 401k now. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't going to be finishing laying up at the rim. You know what I mean? He, he leaving before that happened. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck you, me. <clears throat> Football season and basketball season are both coming up, and I might have to make my way to a Wizards game when the Warriors come to town in November to catch Steph live and in person. It's super easy in the Game Time app. You just search for your game, click the seats, and you're basically done. I love Game Time Super Deal that you can see the seats before you buy and that they have the low price guarantee. Y'all know we're busy with two kids, but when we get time to get out of the house, we love going to live events, no matter what kind. I still remember taking Somi to our first basketball game, and it's something I remember for the rest of my life. Game Time has a new feature called Game Time Picks that makes getting tickets for your favorite live events even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. The curation of Game Time Picks makes it easier to save more on sports, concerts, comedy, theater, or anything you want to go see live. They've got all-in pricing. You can toggle that feature on and show the total up front with no surprise fees at checkout. Got seat views so you can get a panoramic view from your seat in the app before you buy and the lowest price guarantee or game time will credit you 110% of the difference. Game time ticket coverage, your purchase is covered with the most flexible customer service policy in the ticketing industry. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. Download the game time app, create an account and use code J and J that's J A N D J for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code J-A-N-D-J for $20 off. Download game time today. What time is it? Game time. The NFL season is rolling along and the contenders are separating from the pack. The one thing that hasn't changed this season, DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sportsbook partner of the NFL, is the number one place to bet touchdowns. Fade to the corner of the end zone, running back breaks through the line and gallops 60 yards to score. We don't care how they get them. We want to bet on touchdowns, and DraftKings is the best place to do it. Ready to place your first bet? Try betting on something simple like a player scoring a touchdown. Go to the DraftKings Sportsbook app and make your pick. The Commanders lost a tough one to the Steelers, so you know I got my eye on their next couple of games to see if they can bounce back. And here's a reason for new customers to do a touchdown dance of their own. Bet $5 to get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Score big with DraftKings Sportsbook, the number one place to bet touchdowns. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code Jenkins. That's code Jenkins for new customers to get $200 in bonus bets when you bet just 5 bucks. Only on DraftKings, the crown is yours. 